My name is Isabel Pastor Guzman. I am program director at Ibrea Foundation. So Ibrea has the mission to help individuals and communities around the world recover their health, their mental well-being, and their peace, and in that way contribute to a better community and a better country, and um, gradually contribute to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So it goes from the individual level to the collective level, impacting the world. So Ibrea was founded by Il Chili and Brain Education was also created by Il Chili. So it's the main like educational method that we're using to create this impact. To me, Brain Education is about connecting, connecting with myself, my deep true self, and connecting with other people's uh, true self. When I, I've always been someone that really wants to help, actually. I've, since I'm really, really young, like as a kid, I always wanted to help out. For example, I had two younger brothers and they both had like difficulties. One of my brothers has autism and uh, my other brother also has mental distress. So I was always like taking care of them and like really trying to uh -huh, help them feel good, just uh, feel good. I um, worked as a volunteer in many places and I studied international development and I started in Europe. When I came to the US, I actually came, I had been working in, in Europe and in the Balkans and in North Africa, many countries just trying so hard and moving around and then feeling still like something is missing. And I had this idea. I will rest in the US <laughs> and study. I thought studying is like a break, you know? <laughs> and then I went to Harvard Kennedy School and it was so much work, so much work and studying and reading, so no break at all. So when I finished that, so that's when I started receiving this training. Actually, I woke up one day, I will do some yoga kind of idea in my mind. And I had never thought about anything like yoga, energy related, nothing like that. But I had this idea very clear in my head, like you have to do like yoga. <laughs> I, I'm a kind of person that really follows my, I follow my intuition just. And then somehow my body just like walked into the body and brain center, which wasn't even like clearly yoga. But <laughs> right away I felt something like a good feeling. I felt very good. I felt very clear. I felt very clear. My big awakening was really, ah, all my life I keep looking outside to sort of satisfy this, this passion for helping. But really the problems are inside of myself. It was like, aha, uh -huh, moment. So I, I trained a lot and very fast. And then I became a trainer, brain education trainer. And um, I, I started working a little bit in the in the body and brain center in Boston. Regional manager came and then she said, "Okay, you will run the center now." A few days later, no, no, let's you will go to Ibrea. So everything happened very organically and naturally, and I thought, "Oh, this makes sense." You know, they're doing international work and um, like that. So I moved from Boston to New York. That was in 2010. And then, since then, I, I've been here in Ibrea. So, El Salvador project is very dear to my heart. I, I started in Ibrea because I received the training myself. When I came to New York, I, I started attending the conferences at the UN, and in one of the conferences that I organized, the ambassador from El Salvador came, and then he was really impacted by the the, the concept and the, the program that Ibrea has. He opened up the possibility of doing a pilot project in El Salvador, so that's how the project was born. You know, it was my first uh, development in Ibrea. And then since then, it's been 10 years and the program has grown so much. At the beginning, we, we worked with one class, just one class in one school that is very, very difficult in El Salvador near the capital. The children changed so much. I remember very well. It was 39 kids. And then one of them is a trainer with us now. She's helping many people around the country. Um, the teachers and the Ministry of Education were impressed with the changes in the, in the students. 
and uh, that's how the program grew just by the, the the kind of life testimony of a few people and since then it's been growing so much um, in 2012 we had the support from Korea, the Ministry of Education of Korea, and we expanded to four other schools uh, with the support always of the Ministry of Education in El Salvador. And uh, after 2012, on, in 2013, we had like a bigger partnership and funding directly from the government of El Salvador. Their most recent project in 2019 is also um, a little bit different. We, changed a little bit the strategy because this time we received funding from the European Union and it's part of this four-year uh, national plan to create peace. So we're really in the right framework, I feel like. So the, the plan now is to create an institute for peace and have a place where all these teachers that have been trained can gather and can train further and can reinforce and can connect with each other and then from that Peace Institute in San Salvador, our vision and our plan now is also to expand to other countries. In, in El Salvador, there's a lot of, there's many issues like uh, in many countries, but the, the most uh, pressing issue is really violence. So if I look at the people that we've been working with mostly, uh, I really see on a daily basis, they're facing very difficult situations. So. Um, where somebody's like dad was killed the night before, the day before, and then they just uh, come to school in that in that situation and in that condition, and they don't even know what happened or how it happened. Kind of not only difficult situations, but tension between the classmates and between classmates and teachers. So in in the moment of the training, that's what the the condition they were bringing in. And then a lot of health problems, actually. There's a lot of obesity, there is a lot of diabetes, a lot of uh, operations, also trauma because of situations that they've lived. We do a lot of training where we kind of help them bring that out, things they've never talked about or never ever looked at. So here in the US, um, we have a plan now to work in Harlem, in New York City. So it's a, it's a community that also has uh, difficulties in terms of health, both physical health and mental health, and uh, academic performance. And uh, even we decided to go and live in Harlem to really sort of be in that reality and, and understand that reality with our experience and our body. So now we're really invested in the, in the community and, and um, we want to create some harmony in the community and have people help each other and work well together. So that's the, the mission and the vision of the Harlem Training Center. There are many ways to connect with Ivrea. Everybody's welcome. I always feel and I, uh, I always say like Ivrea's work is somehow everybody's work. That's truly how I feel. Like we all want to do this work and we are, are doing this work in some way. So it's very small for now and we need a lot of help. So there are many ways. One way is definitely as any NGO funding. We need a lot of funding to do this great work. And other ways volunteering and another way is really joining the team. Um, we can partner with businesses and with other NGOs and with governments to deliver brain education to different groups in different countries, any kind of possibility like that is more than welcome and uh, to join the team it's more like uh, really understanding um, what we do so that requires training and preparation and uh, um, understanding the original vision that El Chile really has with Ibrea so but anybody can do that <laughs> but we do have to prepare to do this work well.